What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Steven Womack and I just watched this Kanye West um, genius documentary on Netflix and I was blown away by it and at the same time you requested um, this look right here. You wanted me to show you how to recreate this cover image for that genius Netflix documentary and um, I got right to work and I figured out how to recreate this look using only your smartphone and the free Lightroom app and that's what I want to show you today. As always, I've also created a preset on exactly this genius inspired look. Um, the link is under this video. You can just easily download it from my website. It's in that all presets pack with over 300 other presets that you can easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. And the cool thing is that every time I create new presets, such as this one today, they're automatically updated to the pack. So if you have it once, if you bought it once, it's automatically updated and you will have that growing presets pack. Every new preset will automatically be on your link so it's a great deal make sure to check it out the link is under this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future videos and if there's anything you need from me or you have new requests for new videos always feel free to dm me on instagram at steven womack is my handle now i've said enough let's jump right into this tutorial the first thing you want to do is open your picture in the free lightroom app Make sure you take the picture really close to your face or just crop the frame so that later you really have this face close up image and then we're just going to open it in the free Lightroom app. So we open the app right here and it already looks weird because um, I went to the light setting and then to curve on the upper right and then I created this curve right here which I now want you to recreate. So take your time, maybe take a screenshot of this frame now and I'm just trying to recreate this curve as it is right here. It goes down and then it goes right back up and um, then on the upper right side is just pulled down a little further. It's kind of that uh, deformed S curve. Once you have this, you're done with it and your picture should go from something like this as it was before to this right here and that's what we're gonna start with. So we're done here. Now for the lighting settings, I wrote them down here once again. The first thing we wanna do is boost up the exposure to plus 0.77. Then the contrast, we want to pull down all the way to negative 100. The highlights as well, all the way down to negative 100. The shadows, we want to boost up all the way to plus 100. And the blacks, we wanna pull down a little bit to negative 40 right here. The whites, we want to boost up a little bit to plus 44 maybe. And then we can move over to the colors tab. And here we want to pull down the saturation all the way because we want the picture to be black and white. And then on top here where it says grading, we can go now. And then for the shadows, we wanna pull the hue to around 238 on um, that blue area and the saturation up a little bit. Uh, in this case to around, let me check, 15 should be good to give it that blue tint in the shadows. Then the midtones here, hue all the way up to 250, that blue tone again, and the saturation up a little bit to, in this case, really slightly only to around seven. And for the highlights, again, hue up to that blue area, 262, and the saturation in this case, um, up a little higher to around 20 should be perfect. Then we're done here. And now the last thing we do is go over to the effects tab. And here we can just easily boost up the texture to around plus 27 to give it that really hard, crispy structure. And the clarity we want to pull down a little bit to negative 28 to soften it out, balance it out again. And um, then dehaze, we want to boost up, in this case, all the way to plus 70 right here. And that's it already. This is the final image. Here's a quick before and after. And I think we came super close to this kind of really dark, um, really high contrast genius cover picture. I hope you're happy with this video. Once again, keep in mind that he probably used a professional photographer, a professional gear studio, editing with Photoshop, all these kinds of things, and we're only using our smartphone and the free Lightroom app. So I think it's cool how close we can get to the actual look. Once again, I've created a preset for you if you wanna save some time 
or if you're having troubles following along to this tutorial, um, you can easily just download it from my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack with over 300 presets that you can just easily quickly paste to your pictures to give them those cool creative looks. It's been a game changer for me. The cool thing about this presets pack is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically updated to the pack. So you just have to get it once and you'll get that growing presets pack, which is a great deal. It's unique. So make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. And I really appreciate your love and the support for this channel. So I can't thank you enough. Um, till then, stay creative, stay healthy, peace.